Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for Sunday the 6th of August 2017. Um, this is a redo on my last uh, message. Um, I gotta say, um, I, I went about my last message uh, wrong. Um, I have some very good uh, teachings that I want to share with you guys. Um, but I don't want to quench the spirit, and I don't want to, um, to quench the spirit. And if you guys heard the last video, um, I was, I was saying that, you know, not a lot of people are preaching James, and that, uh, we're saved not by works, but that we have responsibilities, um, and that, you know, that we're not saved by them. But we have to um, understand that, you know, the Lord gave us authority to, to do things. And I think when people read works, they are confusing it with actions, okay? So a lot of people won't teach James because... Um, of a scripture I'm going to read here. But if you look at it in the context of actions, okay, and, and know that it's, we're laborers, okay, and, and we do work for the Lord. And, you know, we serve his kingdom. And we can't be afraid of, of saying that we are laborers and that, you know, we do work. We do works. But we're not saved by our works. But we are commanded to love one another as we love ourselves and to love our God first and foremost with all our heart, soul, and mind. So when you love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind, you're not going to put anything in His way. You're not going to idolize anything that is not of the Lord. Uh, okay, like, you're not going to worship... Uh, other other people, other objects, you know what I'm saying? Um, the Lord is number one in your life. He's your king. Okay, so, and also, when you love other people, you're not going to steal, you're not going to commit adultery, fornicate, all these things that you're just not going to do. Okay? We're not perfect. We all fall short of the glory of God. We are saved by the Lord Jesus Christ and His sacrifice. So I just want to make that abundantly clear. And I was challenging the brethren to do uh, more Bible studies or looking into the book of James. And also I was referring to in Revelation, you know, it's... I know your works, I know your works, I know your works. So what does the Lord mean when he's saying works? And it's actions, okay? And we do have to conduct ourselves a certain way as Christians. And when we have the Holy Spirit of promise that we receive once we believe, that we're, we're sealed to the day of redemption, but when we don't do the will of the Father, then we're losing our, our savor. We're losing that salt. We're the salt and light of the earth. And so we are commanded to go out and preach the gospel. And, you know, I don't have that evangelist thing. I'm, I feel like I'm better at, at getting the word out and praying for people and, and teaching. I feel like the Lord has given me these, these gifts, you know, um, and, and evangelism, you know, in person, I get like stage fright and I'm working through that. You know, I'm trying really hard to get through that. I'm not ashamed of my God. I love Jesus and I am not ashamed of my God, but I, it's that, you know, I come across like as a sales pitch sometimes, or I just feel like I don't know what I'm saying. I'm fumbling over my words and I get, I get, you know, nervous in the service, and I'm just, you know, it's one of those things that I, I am working on. But we are commanded to do that. You know, we have to go out there and, and, 
you know, lift each other up. And I feel like with my last video, I was being more rebuking. And, you know, I said, if, you know, if you're not preaching uh, James and, you know, are you being a coward? And when I heard it back, I was just like, oh, that's not the way, really what I, you know, I just get, I'm frustrated with the way things are and how, you know, we have this authority. We have the authority to to step on serpents and scorpions, these these demons, these spiritual uh, wickedness in high places, these things, and and, you know, that we have this authority and we can help people and pray for people and and do things and you know we've let the lord down you know but at the same time he knew what was going to happen you know he's the alpha and the omega he's the beginning and the end he knows all of it and so we need him to come back and i and i also feel like you know when i was talking in there i was like really you know i was saying like if if we were you know, using our authority, we wouldn't be at the point where we're at, but at the same time, we're exactly where the Lord knows we're going to be. And we can, we can still fight until he gets back. We can still, you know, um, be standing in the gap and, and, uh, claiming our territories and fighting, you know, and being the soldiers we are. Because we are soldiers. You know, we're not around a campfire singing Kumbaya and making s'mores. You know, we're warriors. You know, we put on the full armor of God. You know, the girdle of truth, the shoes of peace, breastplate of righteousness, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. We're suiting up and we're going out there and we're fighting these things. And that's what I'm trying to I'm trying to get you guys to know that there is a difference between work salvation and working for the Lord in love, labor of love, doing what we can and lifting up the brethren and and praying for people and helping people in need and doing the good labor out of love, not for our own glory, for His glory, for the King's glory. That's why when we give, we give in secret. When we pray, we pray in our prayer closets because we're not trying to boast, we're not on a street corner, we're not peacocking what we're doing because it's not about us. It's not about our works, lest any man boast. But that doesn't mean we sit on our hands. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown toward, toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Hebrews 6.10 James 2.15-17 if a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, and be warmed and filled, notwithstanding you give them not these things which are needful for the body, what does it profit? Even so in faith, if you if it hath not works, it is dead being alone. Now what he's saying here is you're not taking action if you're seeing somebody and they're in need and you're not taking action, then you're not showing the love of the Lord Jesus Christ and showing what it means to be a Christian. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in fault, you which are spiritual, restore such one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For any man shall, for every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is 
taught in the word, communicate unto him that teach us in all good things. Galatians 6, 1 to 6. Hereby perceive we the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good and seeth his brother have need and shutteth up the bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love the word neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So what I want to say to you guys here is, you know, we're not saved by our works. Okay? That's not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying here is the book of James and Revelation and all of this is our service unto the Lord, our labor of love. And if people are preaching, you know, that you're saved, but you're not helping people out, you're not caring, then you're not expressing the love of Christ. You're not being righteous for Jesus' sake, not your own. I hope I'm really expressing what I'm trying to say here. And I'm, I apologize for the last video if you guys heard it and we're thinking that I'm preaching works. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm trying to express to you guys is that there is things that, that we, we want to do for the Lord and we want to do for lost people and the brethren. You know, how are we to save people and get the word out if we're not out there helping people, you know, and some of us can't. I mean, I have osteoarthritis. It's very hard for me to get around, and it's hard for me to, to do certain things, but the Lord meets you where you are, and if you're praying for people, if you're doing what you can, you know, if you can give what you can to people, that's fine, you know, um, but it doesn't save us. It doesn't save us from hell, but what it does is it shows the compassion and the heart of our Lord to others. You know, if we're not doing this and we're, we're acting like the world, you know, it's just we're not, we're not showing the heart of the Lord, you know, in our walk. So anyways, guys, um, like I said, I just wanted to redo this teaching because I feel like... Um, that it might have came across the wrong way and that it could be quenching the spirit. It's not my intention at all. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day, a great Sunday. I love you very much. And if I don't see you in the clouds tonight, I'll have another message out for you soon. Peace be with you.